ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, my name is David Popovich, aka The Bookworm, and welcome to Bookworm's Goosebumps 2000 Retrospective. Today, we kick this retrospective off right as we meet a cute little kitty that will do everything to make your life a living nightmare. So, every cat in existence. This is Cry of the Cat. Allison Moore and her friend Ryan are off to school to practice for the upcoming school play. Both of them have the lead parts and are reciting their lines. I opened my mouth to start the next line, but I didn't get it out. I saw a red van roaring towards us up the middle of the street, and then I saw a blur of gray in front of my bike. A cat? Yes! No time to swerve. I tried to brake, but my hand slid off the handle. No! The cat darted in front of me. I felt a hard bump under the front tire. Then I heard a harsh squeal of pain. <coughs> Ooh, yeah, that cat is dead. D-E-D. -E Deader than a sack of drowned kittens. May have gone a little too far with that last one. Anyway, Allison sees the house the cat ran out of and does the unfortunate duty of informing the owner. But while walking up, she sees all the other cats staring at her. I felt a chill on the back of my neck. My heart suddenly began to pound in fear. All those cat eyes stared out at me so coldly from the front window, unblinking, unmoving, watching me, watching me so intently. Truly, this is a day of tragedy for the loss of such a poor, innocent, cute little kid. Huh? I utter a startled cry as I felt the cat move. Say huh? He blinked his yellow eyes, raised his head, and gazed around, as if waking from a nap. What? Whoa! My heart skipped a beat. My hands flew up. I dropped the cat. He fell at my feet. The cat stared up at me with his bright yellow eyes. Stared at me coldly. But I... We... Dead... How? The cat! I cried. He was dead! I know he was dead! Crystal avoided my eyes. He's no ordinary cat. She said through gritted teeth, you shouldn't have messed with Rip. And Allison learns that very soon as she starts to hear cries of the cat. Cat! Cat! He said it! He said it! Around when no one else can. But this cat doesn't just want to mess with her head. Two yellow eyes stared out at me. I heard a shrill, angry cry and saw two raised paws. Before I could move, the cat flew out from the top shelf. He landed on my face. I cried out as the claws dug into my shoulders. With a furious hiss, the cat raised his head. Two yellow eyes flared like the sun. No! Help! I let out a shriek and stumbled backwards as the cat bared his curved fangs and lowered them to my throat. The cover is good. It has a lot of similarities to the Barking Ghost cover with the silver gray coat, to the drool hanging from the exposed fangs, to its evil eyes. The differences are just simple ones. Change the position, add a little orange backlight like the cat is a literal cat from hell, and of course making the dog a cat. It's simple, it's clean, and it carries all we really need to know for the terrors about to come. Dead cat walking. The book itself is actually pretty good. I haven't read a single Goosebumps story for over two years, but this brought back all the classic elements that make for a fun read. Mainly the mystery of who Rip is, or in this case, what he is, as Allison starts to go mad over why she keeps seeing the same cat again and again, even though she knows it should be dead. A sense of dread as we discover the true horror that lies with Rip. And for once, I don't have much to complain about with the ending. It's silly and over the top, but it's the good kind of silly and over the top. The kind that just keeps outdoing itself with one crazy spectacle over the other. So what if it doesn't make it much sense? There's a ghost cat tornado! Your argument is invalid! Plus, the twist doesn't undermine anything. It's a good Goosebumps book through and through. It's the cat's meow. Oh, come on. I deserve at least one bad cat pun! What about you, Internet? What's your opinion about Cry of the Cat? Till next time, have a scary day.